So I just finished a video that took me just over four months to complete. I can't make any money from this video. It's over an hour long and most people won't watch it for more than a couple of minutes. So why bother? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you. So last summer, a group of us flew to Stonehenge and it was an absolutely incredible flight. The problem is, is my audio on my helmet died about two minutes into the flight, so I wasn't able to make a vlog. And it was the first time I used something called a chase cam. And uh, for those of you that don't know what a chase cam is, it's this device you drag behind a paramotor with a camera attached so that you can get a shot from behind, a third person view. And I've seen chase cam footage before uh, shot on GoPros, but I wanted to try and up the game a little bit. So I put an Insta360 on the chase cam and when we landed it took me a few days to look through my footage and when I finally got around to this footage I was absolutely floored by the possibilities of it. It looked amazing but there was a few things that were bugging me about the footage. One was that you could see the line that was dragging the chase cam, this blue piece of wire. And it was just very very distracting so I decided to take one freeze frame from the video and drop it into Photoshop and I upscaled it. Um, I painted out the blue line and I added a nice color grade to it and then I added a filter which makes it look a bit like an oil painting and used it just as a backdrop on my computer. And then I had the stupid idea of doing it to all of the frames in the video. Now when you do that with one frame it's very very easy but doing it with a moving image is incredibly difficult. There's motion tracking involved and a host of other issues that come with it. File sizes are enormous. I ended up taking one hour of footage, the best footage from the flight, and decided that I would process it one frame at a time using uh, some artificial intelligence software to paint out the line and then I dropped 108,000 frames into Photoshop, 400 frames at a time. And what I ended up with was a video that was a 4K, beautiful, wide-angle shot. I'm so proud of it. And if you pause the video or if you walk up to your television while it's playing, you'll realize that what you're actually looking at is, is essentially a moving oil painting. Now, why won't anyone watch this all the way through? Well, it's an hour long and it's chase cam footage. So, you know, it takes a special kind of somebody to sit there for an hour and just watch. I love art. <laughs> Most people will watch it for a couple of minutes and then just leave it on in the background. And that's the point, really. The reason I did this, um, if you've ever had a, a party at your house or a barbecue and you go onto the homepage on your smart TV and then you just let it cycle through those amazing vistas that they use, some of the amazing photographs from around Europe and around the world. And I wanted to create something that, that somebody could just put on in the background and, and leave. I just wanted to make something that really represented just how gorgeous that flight was and, uh, and how I remember it. So when you watch it, it doesn't look massively realistic when you walk up close to the screen. But I'm not really trying to show you what it looked like on the day. I'm trying to show you how it felt when I was flying. The vivid colors and the, the slightly dreamlike vistas that you get when you look closely. So that's kind of the, the point of this really. Uh, and the reason I can't make any money from this video is that the playlist that I've decided to use, um, I can't get the license for any of the music I've tried. Uh, it's impossible, so... Basically, any ads that you see running on this video will be paid to the artist, rightly so, of the music, but I won't actually make any money whatsoever. And I'm fine with that, actually, because as a piece of uh, artistic work, the reward for me is really just in the making of it. Um, I really hope you enjoy this. It took me a long time. It probably took me over a hundred hours over the last four months in my spare time. I haven't done many vlogs recently uh, on the YouTube channel. I'm just so busy working on a documentary right now, a parameter documentary about Harley Milne, who flew across the US and set a new record for doing so. Uh, we followed him and made a documentary. There's actually a trailer for it, which I'll leave at the end of this video. Uh, go check that out if you haven't seen it. 
I'm being eaten alive right now, you can probably tell. Um, so I won't stay for too much longer. Just to say, if you enjoy this video that I've made and you'd like to support my efforts, I actually have a Patreon. Uh, there's a link in the description below. I'll leave links um, here and here for the trailer for Harley's documentary and for the uh, the hour-long video, the, the, the chase cam footage. Just check it out for a few minutes and uh, if you ever have a barbecue or anything like that, just put it on in the background and I hope you enjoy it. Like and subscribe and I will see you in about a month.